we're going to continue on our discussion of daffodils and the different varieties. This is Talia. It's one of my favorite daffodils. It's shorter. It's like a paper white fragrance and it can be forced inside or you can put it outside. That's the thing about daffodils. They grow great inside forced as well. Incredible fragrance and it's not as tall as the paper white so it doesn't fall over very easily. Okay. This is Poeticus Actea. It's mentioned by Shakespeare in his poems and it is just lovely. It has a slight fragrance and it has the white with the orange circle and the yellow center and it just really adds a lot of pizzazz to your garden. Okay. Sir Winston Churchill. Anybody that realizes, as my husband says, that he's the greatest man that ever walked the earth. We'd love to have a Sir Winston Churchill in their yard. There's incredible fragrance, again, like a paper white. They can be forced indoors or you can throw them outdoors. They'll grow almost anywhere. And my favorite daffodil of all is Tahiti. I love it has a yellow with an orange center. And when they're blooming in March, when there's no other color, no other orange color in my yard, it makes me realize that summer's around the corner and I just have a little bit more to wait. And I just love it in my yard. Daffodils are very, very re rewarding for your garden. Pretty much they're critter proof. They're in, not too invasive. You can keep track of them. And you plant them now and you enjoy them for many years to come. Following the daffodil blooms, we have alliums on our next segment.